we go on to sales order costing valuated sales order stock sales order not a cost object so here in this case sales order is not a cost object now how is the requirement type and requirement class determined determined so the requirement this class is determined through requirement type the requirement type is determined in various ways so strategy group which is updated in the mrp3 view of the material master which we had seen earlier or item category in the sales view of the material master record or in the sd document which is in the sales order and the mrp type in mrp1 so what we in the configuration what we do is we link the mrp type the item category and the requirement type together so whenever these three combine whenever these two mrp type and the item category are found system will automatically pick up the requirement type and based on the requirement type the requirement class is determined so that is the determination for sales order costing let us see the material master view for the material so here where we have mrp type pd material master view mrp3 there is a strategy group which is updated as made to order for material variant so 26 so this is strategy group is linked to the requirement type and requirement type is internally to the requirement class so here we have updated strategy group this is again updated by the production planning guys and we have the accounting view valuation class updated there is no standard price whatsoever in this material standard cost is blank we don't have to calculate standard cost in the material master since it's a sales order costing system will automatically calculate cost when we create a sales order so let's start there is no standard cost estimate creation creation of sales order we create a sales order and in the sales order we are getting the requirement type kel so based on the strategy group kel is determined and vprs is zero there is no price standard price material master has no price so strategy group is 26 strategy group 26 assigned to requirement kel so kel it is assigned requirement type kel and kel in, in turn assigned to a requirement class of 47 made to order material variant requirement class has the required configuration so it has the costing variant which we have created ypc4 costing id costing method account assignment category valuation so here it says account assignment category m and valuation m that means it is not uh, non valuated it is valuated and it will be uh, you know the cost will not be captured on the on the sales order okay so all the configurations for sales order costing are stored in the requirement class so costing variant costing sheet everything is stored here account assignment category valuation is stored here in the requirement class setting so system has calculated the cost ek02 calculate so here we see the ek02 calculated cost is calculated okay so let's go to the costing click on extras and costing and here it shows a mark cost estimate already exists display mark click on the display mark and it will show the system has calculated the cost based on the sales document so it has calculated with reference to a sales document material plan and here is the cost estimates so the cost estimates are seen here it shows the machine labor material again uh, labor and this is the overheads which our system has calculated so it has taken the bill of material and the routing and calculated the sale order cost and it is showing you the various views sales and administration cost of goods sold cost of goods manufactured inventory so whatever views are updated are configured in the costing in the costing variant so we are calculated uh, say, selecting the view and these are displayed accordingly over here let's click back now md02 so based on the sales order which has saved uh, the M M uh, mrp execution will be done the production planning guys there's generally a bad job with uh, does it nobody does it manually so we update the material plant 6603 and then the mrp job is executed let us see the stock requirement list md02 material plant 
so here we see that there is a planned order created for our sales order that this is a sales order and for that there is a planned order planned order is created so we double click on that so convert planned order to production order so the planned order we can see this is the planned order click on the production order to convert into process order so here the planned order uh, is the planned order and the process order type is zpi1 we update the total quantity by the 1 kg here 